Hey guys and welcome back to another great Lightworks video. We are continuing off from where we started with. In the previous video, we got to understand the basics of 3D DVE. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a video where letters fly across the screen to form words. This technique is great for the start of videos introducing your company name or anything like that. Okay, so let's get into it. So I've created my version of the cinematic word, so let's play it. As you can see, there are 10 individual letters that make up the word Lightworks. Before you can start editing in Lightworks, however, you must create your own letters that you are going to use. I've created my letters in Microsoft Paint. After you have created your letters, import them all together at once using the control key on the keyboard and clicking on all the letters. So, import all of your letters, find the, the folder that they are in. While holding down control, click on all of the letters that you are going to use for the cinematic word and click import and it should be here. Now, it's your opinion on the style of the cinematic effect. In my version, I have created it so the L appears first and it gradually becomes faster, but you should experiment with it. Next is to create 10 new video bars or the number of letters you have in your word. So go to the top right of your timeline and click the gear icon. Click on add tracks and see if you've got video selected and choose the, um, the number of video bars you want. So I need 10, I've got one there, I need 9 more. So I've got 9 I'm just going to add another track and there you go 10 now you don't really need to worry about the audio because in this video tutorial I'm not going to be worrying about that so you could just might as well delete them to make more room there we go perfect after that's done you should have 10 video bars or as many as what you have chosen Next step is to drag the the letters into the timeline. So we're going to start with L. So I'm just going to import L again. So we're going to start with L, I, G, H. K and S. So your timeline should look similar to mine. Now, I want my video to run for 25 seconds, so I should cut at the 25 second mark. To do that, go to the time counter and type in 25 seconds, which is located uh, bottom left of the screen. It's going to type in 25 seconds and hit enter. Now at that point, hit delete to cut the video there and delete the unwanted videos that we don't want because we only want the video to run for 25 seconds. Okay, after that's done, travel tw 5 seconds backwards from 25 seconds and hit enter again. So that will be 20 seconds that we want and hit enter again. Now we've got two pieces of video on each letter. Why you you may be asking because as you may have already seen in my version th the first bit is the effects and the last bit is the still image. So as you as you may already know you don't want it to be just to cut off when the effects is finished. You want it to stay there so the 
viewer can see the letter or the word that you're um, representing or anything like that. Okay, so next step is to plan the position of the letters to match the word as seen in the video. So next step is to add 3D DVE on all the letters. So I'm just going to do that now on the second part of the video, not the first, the second part. We do only doing the second part, guys, so don't get confused. So 3D DVE on all of them. Now you've got to position all the letters to fit what you're trying to spell out. As you can see, the all of the letters on here, they just overlap to each other. So right now, you, you guys have to somehow fit all the letters into that space to s spell that w the word that you're gonna you're looking for, which I already have. So earlier, I have created a. I've already positioned my. Uh, letters in to form the word lightworks so once you have finished positioning your letters go to the first part of the video and shorten the letters so this part here this part shorten your letters such as what I've done in my version what I mean is to shorten each letter ex excluding the first letter to make the illusion that the letter appears next and next for each letter I'm going to set an interval of two seconds so two seconds in between each other it does take a lot of planning but it's all worth it in the end so right now I've already clicked on the two second mark and the time counter so I'm gonna unhighlight all these so be sure to unhighlight all the unnecessary letters you don't want to be cut so right now we're at two seconds hit delete and remove not delete remove because I'll show you what happens when you delete as you can see the video uh, del deletes it and it moves backwards but you don't want that so you're gonna click on remove and it stays there so right now we're just gonna keep doing this I'll see you guys on the other side. Now, if you've done it correctly, your timeline should look like stairs or an upside down triangle, maybe a right angle triangle, but it should look something like this unless you've experimented with all sorts of the um, layers. So now next is the fun part, and that is to add the effects. So what you have to do is add 3D DVE to all the letters and and then tick the X the Y clocks under rotation and click on the X and Y clocks on under position so you have to do that for all the letters and what you have to do is resize this to 4.8 And now you have to and use your imagination to move all the letters to whatever degree or position you want. Also, before you go ahead, be mindful that if you don't want the letters to appear out of thin air, move the letters out of the screen so it makes it look like it is entering the screen. So what I mean is that move the letter out of the the way. So now I'm going to edit this and I'll see you on the other side. Now, once you have repeated the previous step, your video should look like mine. And that's it guys, I do hope you enjoy this, if you do please give us a like, share with your, your friends, see you soon, thanks a lot guys.